Communication Skills What is your understanding on communication? Why do we communicate? To inform or inquire? To update ourselves? To persuade? To talk? To clarify? To seek clarification? To convey our emotions? Ways of communication? Spoken word? Written word? Visual? Images? Body language? Communication? Constant feedback ensures Effective communication Circle of communication Ideas occur Message coded Message sent Message received Message decoded Idea understood Let's look at questions of communication. We all are aware of five W's and one H. Who? When? Where? What? Why? And? How? Let's talk about what does these five W's and one H means in our communication. Who equals person? When equals timing? Where equals channel or place? What equals message? Why equals purpose? How equals medium? If we work on these principles our communication is crisp and clear. Basics of communication Communication is a dynamic process that allows people to exchange information by several methods. Through this process we convey a thought or feeling to someone else. How it is received depends on a set of events, stimuli, that person is exposed to. How you say. What you say. Plays an important role in communication. There should be clarity in the message. KISS Principle. K-I-S-S stands for keep it short and simple. Any communication is effective only when it produces the desired result. The message, which is to be delivered, must be clear and crisp. Short and simple messages are easy to understand. When you are communicating, your communication should have conviction, confidence, Enthusiasm Conviction It is very important for a communicator to have conviction in what he says. Confidence Confidence comes only if one has a clear understanding of things and the power to communicate properly in regional languages. Enthusiasm Attracts attention and makes the receiver listen properly to what is being said. Types of communication. There are two ways we communicate. Verbal. Nonverbal. What is verbal and nonverbal communication? Communication like speaking or singing. And nonverbal are body language, sign language, pair language, touch, eye contact. What are barriers to communication? External or mechanical barriers Physical barriers Psychological barriers Semantic barriers Linguistic AMP Cultural barriers What do we understand by non-verbal communication? During a verbal conversation Nonverbal communication constantly takes place through gestures, eye contact, facial expressions, even clothing, and personal space. In most cases, verbal and nonverbal communication happens simultaneously between individuals.
What is the importance of nonverbal communication? Most messages are communicated. Use of verbal communication is 7% through words. Vocal is 38% which is tone of voice, inflection. And visual is 55% non-verbal, which is physical behavior. Mismatch in verbal amp non-verbal message creates confusion disbelief and doubt in the minds of the listener. Let's understand pair language. What you say and how you say it. Let's look at a sentence. Woman without her man is nothing. How you say it is important. Woman without her man is nothing. Or it can be said as Woman without her man is nothing. Let's look at another example of pair language. I didn't say he stole my money. 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 Different shades of speech including tone, pace and voice modulation are known as paralanguage. It may be expressed consciously or unconsciously. Tone of speech. Rate of speech. What are prepositions? Preposition describes a relationship between other words in a sentence. When we use in, between, or on, you invariably use your hands to show how something is situated in relationship to something else. Prepositions are words placed before nouns and pronouns. They are used to show time, position and direction. Examples of prepositions using time. My birthday falls in September. Most shops are closed on Monday. I have an appointment at 9 o'clock. Hi, I am back. Let's look at examples of prepositions showing position. He is standing at the door. The glass is on the table. The cat is sleeping under the chair. Examples of prepositions showing direction. She got into the taxi. The girl is walking towards her mother. I have to go to town. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video and has fruitful learning. Next topic effective listening.